Hi, well my name is Michael East and some of you may have met me before through my website. I'm going to talk now about the sex hormones and how they are both similar and different to each other just so you have a little bit of understanding how that influences how we use them in, in treatment of various things. So think of the sex hormones a little bit like um, you might think of a car that um, has the same chassis but you have different bodies put on the car. So for example a Volkswagen Golf might be a convertible, it might be a hatchback, it might be a saloon. So they all have similar function but they have different functions as well. That applies to the sex hormones and particularly estrogen, progesterone and testosterone. Now women produce all three as do men but men produce of course more testosterone than women and women produce more estrogen than men. But you probably remember from school days doing Venn diagrams in, in math. Now Venn diagrams are indicating overlapping influence of what we call fields. Now that can be field of activity such as all the things that estrogen does, some of those things are the same as things that testosterone does. So for example, estrogen will promote bone growth and protect your bones after menopause, but so will testosterone. That promotes bone growth and that's how men have their bones protected. Progesterone is the other main female hormone. Now, these overlapping fields do mean that sometimes you can have a side effect that is of another hormone type that you don't quite want. So if I was to give somebody a copy of progesterone, which we call a progestin, then some women are going to be prone to the testosterone-like effects of that and may get extra spots on their face or extra hair growth, which is not a particularly great thing to have, of course. That's why there are some progestogens or copies of progesterone that um, we may use more often in certain circumstances because the field of activity doesn't overlap and so if I just take that out and draw what some progesterone copies have is they may be more down here like this. They might have some overlapping effects with estrogen but not with testosterone. In fact some can even have anti-testosterone effects so if you did have spots, it would help get rid of them. If you did have extra hair growth, it could reduce it. So that's probably all I want to talk about these in general for now. But I will talk about how the natural hormones change throughout a cycle in another talk.